among thousands and thousands hi guys i was live earlier and then i received a call and then i tried to come back and then did allow me so i just for those of you who joined me earlier for the live stream there are some things i was saying and my message kept on saying life is spiritual you see, some of us, when we come on social media to say things, we are not saying things for clout or for people to like us or uh, because maybe uh, Facebook pays people money. My page is not monetized. You will never see an advert on my page. I do it genuinely because I love you people and I want you guys to learn from these things that go on in this life. A few hours ago, we received some sad news that there was a car crash. And in the car crash, we had a lady, an identified lady. I've seen the video, it's not a good video. She's facing down with her hair. It's not a good sight. And then I've seen images of our footballer. Some are saying he's alive, some are saying he's not alive. But from what? I know is that he didn't make it but we'll wait for the official statement I've just seen somebody saying he's no more he's no more but I'm, I'm not going to comment on that my focus is on the woman women on a well done how many times have I come to this page to tell you women to avoid certain things. And I'm called all sorts of names, insulted, because I have nothing to do. My mission on this page is to win as many souls to Christ. I don't benefit anything. I get zero dollar. I think I'll share the screenshot of how much I get from Facebook. I've never even received a penny. Last year, 2023, Prophet Kunda approached me, a person from Facebook. He said, God had told him that he saw me using my page for ministry to win more souls to Christ. I said, I'm not going to do that. He said, the time will come when you come on this social media platform to educate people about the importance of them securing their lives in Christ. And people said, you are, whatever you are doing on your media, hey, you are judging, hey, you are doing this and that. Anyway, a few months after that, I faced a situation which brought me closer to Christ. And I realized that I need to stand firm. And one of the things, the messages that I've stayed and stated on my page, I've always said that as a woman, your duty is to pray for your family. That is how Warrior Women of Prayer was formed. It's an organization of women from Zambia and all over the world. And all we do is gather to pray for our families. And all we do is gather to stand in the gap for our families because life is spiritual. When I started the live earlier, because of the caption, people didn't understand what I was about to say. So I've had to redo the video. But my focus in that video mainly was, who is that girl? My spirit felt there was something wrong. The Bible says that the devil comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The ending is bad. Somebody will say, who are we to judge? Let's confirm. Confirm what? Many people... In Zambia, you will like to sugarcoat the truth. You don't like.
like people that say things as they are. Do you know why I'm saying about this thing? Because it's in the media. It's in the public eye. Imagine you are married. You've told your husband you're going on a workshop to work. You know, there's something that you're doing. And then you decide to go on a trip for work. And then something happens. The first person that people want to call is your husband. Darling, my caption is clear. I'm not talking about the husband. I'm not talking about the person, the, the, the guy. I'm talking about the lady. And the first person that will call is the husband. You need to learn from this. You need to learn from this. You sugarcoat whatever you want to cut, not on this page. On this page, we don't sugarcoat. Sorry. Okay? Anyway, I'll block people after. Now, you have told your husband you have gone on a workshop. And because your husband believes in you to say, oh, my wife is going to work. And then you go to work. Something happens, you know, when we fill in the forms at work. And as an employer myself, we always ask people to give us their next of kin. So your next of kin would be who? Your husband, your dad, your mom. Okay? Your dad or your mom. And when they are called, they'll ask them questions. Oh, are you aware this person has gone for a conference? Yes, this person has come for a conference. Are you aware that um, they are in social so -so location? Yes. Okay, this is what has happened. Uh, there was an incident at work, so we are requiring you to come to the hospital. When the family get to the hospital, they have to sign consent. Oh, so, 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 they need to do an emergency operation. And when they do the emergency operation, the person is fine, blah, 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 blah. They call the family. Now, imagine you have told your husband, I am on my way. I'm going so, 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 so. You've left your children. Not one, two boys. You leave two boys. You will never like my truth, so even if you, you talk, I, I don't care, okay? You leave two boys, and you go with your husband's best friend, and then a crash happens. You see, the way God works, he, he can never be mocked. Let me do this because, oh, that's better. I'll talk without comments. The way God works, he can never be mocked. First of all, marriage is an institution of two people. I shared a few days ago to say, our Zambian celebrity wives who are going up and down, point A, point B, drinking. I said, even though they don't even mean to play around, we don't know what the enemy may set traps for them. Even though they are just women who just want to have a good time. The enemy is watching. People say, hey, it's their life. In this situation, you are defending the woman's side because to you, oh, who are you? We can't judge. We can't stay. Imagine a husband sees the wife on media in a car crash with his best friend. Do you think it's fair? Do you think it's fair? No, it's not. Okay? Many a times I've come on this platform to say many of you women protect your homes, pray for your families, stay in your homes. You will never die going out, enjoying yourself, doing this and this. This person is doing this. 
so 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 a footballer has sold his house in, in dollar now he has bought a car me my husband doesn't have let's go there are arrows that are assigned to certain people but because of you find yourself in that situation that is why i say life is spiritual we like to babysit the truth that's why Zambians me they don't like me because they like people say ha ni life you it's okay enjoy ha ah, it's enjoy me i have physically seen the pictures of the two sons i have physically seen the pictures of the son i don't just come on facebook to to rant i don't have time for that but it's a lesson to you women that think you can be doing things privately and then a day will not come when the enemy will disgrace you. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And usually the ending is so bad. In this case, our sister chose the wrong path. The husband is at home with the children, thinking my wife has gone somewhere, only to see news. Women, be patient. Women, be prayerful. Women, life is spiritual. We don't know the prayers that the husband has said in the corner and told God, God, it's only you that will tell me what is going on. I have not spoken about the man because he is not married, but the woman is. I was asking myself questions. How would a woman be found with this guy? Maybe they are in a relationship only to discover that the woman is actually married. You should learn from this. Any situation in life is a lesson to you and me. It's in touch of nature, secret. Unfortunately, it comes to the public eye with embarrassment. Some people are saying, oh, she got a lift from the man. But why was she driving a car? I've never seen somebody who was getting a lift uh, driving someone's car. When you get a lift, you stay in the passenger seat. Many a times we warn you, not because we don't want you to live that lifestyle. It's because we know that the enemy is after your soul. Your mission is to be somebody on this earth that will preach the gospel and we win more souls together. But when the enemy distracts you from things like having an iPhone and uh, driving an expensive car like a Mercedes Benz, you now feel... I think I need to go for a married man. I think I need to get myself a side dude. This woman is not the first Zambian. There are many Zambian women who are doing this today. They are married, fully married. But they have side dudes. And they think they will always get away with it. If you are doing it, stop it. God will use somebody as an example for you to see how the enemy will destroy. You know what happens when you are in sin, you are doing all these things with, you know, you've lied to your husband and all sorts of things. Do you know what happens? That covering from God comes off. You're supposed to be covered. You're supposed to be protected. But because you are doing all these things, that covering comes off. And therefore, your life, your soul is vulnerable. This morning, I had a live stream with people from all over the world. I had 36,000 people watching. And I shared a pastor. And the pastor was saying, women, if you are not spiritually alert, if you don't have dreams about your husband, if you don't spend time in prayer, you are useless. That is why I started the women's ministry, Warrior Women of Prayer. It's for you as a woman to be in a place of prayer. For you as a woman 
to avoid certain things in life because anything that comes with shortcuts your life is cut short don't tell me it's, it's too early anything that is in the media is public news your life is cut too short because of your choices when the enemy strikes one of the things that i've been saying on this page is that the enemy is after marriages destroying marriages so the spirit of poverty comes in your husband is not earning much the wife is trying to push so the women feel ah since things are not going well for me let me do what they call hook up why should a woman go and do hook up it's an example when the bible has says there's blessings that come with marriage it's because many people they put their hopes in men instead of God. The earlier you realize that the things of the enemy are short-lived is, is, is when you see things changing in your life. Many of you, you are desperate. You want to see an iPhone 15. Now imagine family seeing news that their daughter is no more. How? Where were you? The person was with this person. How? What's the connection? I didn't say there's a relationship. Oh. But you can be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And calamity that is a weapon that is supposed to be fashioned against this person comes for you. That's why I was saying earlier in the video before I was distracted by Ko to say life is spiritual. You see a pastor shares something. People are laughing. Social media influencers are laughing about uh, this pastor. Hey, the pastor is asking for car. Yet you have never even gone to Kakande Ministries to see what actually happens. Prophet Samuel Kakande is not a person who cannot afford to have a, a Mercedes Benz or any car. The man is filthy rich. But he knows that when he shares something like that, it will be news. It will be news. At the end of the day, you are advertising his church. The church has been advertised. Come and see women who come to Facebook crying every day. My marriage, my marriage is at stake. After crying, go back on, 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 on uh, Facebook and post, oh, me and my husband were back. Come back, cry. They are mocking this man of God. Women in Zambia, let's stand together to pray for our families. Life is spiritual. Once you allow yourself even to just, let me just have fun. There are some people, even it could have even been today the first time. Say, ah, let me go. And at the end of the day, you are no more. The earlier we realize that there are so many things, arrows assigned against us, the better for you and me. And you know what? As a woman, when you die, you leave your husband. He will just stay. Is it three months? In somebody else for three months, he will go and marry another person. And another woman will start raising your children. Is that what you want? Stay home. You don't need to be moving up and down. I'm here. I'm there. I'm here. I'm there. Stay home. Tapari uka kusungiromwa nangawafwa. Some certain things can be avoided. But because we are too short-sighted, we want things now. We want to enjoy life now. Imagine lying that you are going here. This is not the first, second, third. There are so many. 
one time on Facebook, I used to share videos. And now that day I was like, women, this weekend, if you're going out, if a married man says you go out with them, don't go. I was so serious that day. And this lady even liked my post. On that very day, weekend or so, there was news on Mwewantu Media that there was a crash. And in that accident, there was two girls and a man. That woman that used to like my page, used to watch my videos, was part of the car crash. So, no matter what, this message will be noise to you because some of the people on social media, they, I don't know what's going on in their spiritual life. Some need proper deliverance. So when they see somebody's preaching, it's noise. They're making noise. I will preach. And we will use examples. Even Jesus was using examples, parables, the rich fool. This is what the rich fool did. The rich fool um, came out one time and said, this is my field. Refused to share. And said, this is all for me. Slept and never woke up. Jesus he used to use many parables. The parable of the talents. Three people were given talents. This person did this. This person did. That's what Jesus used to do. So when something happens, we cannot be sugarcoating. How it and What do you think the husband is feeling when his wife said, maybe said, I'm going to see my friends? Or I'm going to college. And then just sees the news media. Ah, okay, there's an accident. Ah, by the time they identify. Obviously, maybe somebody has a driving license or something. Then identify that. Is, what do you think even the family will feel? Remember, when a woman is married to a man, it's the responsibility of the husband. Did you just let her go like that? How? Where was she? Say, no. Kaidi, mamine vijawa maenda na wanzao. Kapena wanamonga maenda kitchen pat. What if in the boots there was a bag of clothes that somebody decided to change and put them there? Maybe the person was wearing a chiteng. People do it. We are, we've been through that as youths as well. From this, stay in a place where you recognize that sin has no reward for you. Because even if you, you sugarcoat it, you want to say, oh, you are talking too much and things like that. There are so many instances I can give which can demonstrate that there is nothing good about doing certain things, especially when there is even a lie. I flew from UK to Zambia to spend 21 days of prayer and fasting in Zambia. And when I did, I was praying for my family. I was going from church to home. The only place I went to was Metopia to eat with pastors and women I shared on Facebook. And I would still go back home. And when I would go back home, I would remember the fact that I've left a family back home in the United Kingdom waiting for me. So I'm here to pray for the family. Are you telling me I have no chance to go to Capellos? Of course I have. There are so many people who can take me to Capellos. Are you telling me I don't have a chance for me to go to uh, Bonjangos and all this? Of course I have. There's so many that I have. I'm a Christian. Does not mean that I don't have friends who don't believe in being like Christians full time? I have friends who go to all those places. They'll even tell you, do you want to come along? I said, no, I don't want to come along. When you don't do certain things, it doesn't mean you are shishita, you are dao, you don't know anything about life. It's because you are preserving your life for the future. The last time I came here on media, I spoke about celebrity wives. And I said, for the sake of tomorrow, there are some certain things you should avoid. Whether you are a celebrity or not, whether you are married to a good man or not, whether you are divorced or not, there are some certain things you should avoid at all costs. Your life is special. 
and you are on a mission to win more souls. There was another car crash that happened where a young man, a celebrity, was with other friends. And all of them died. I think there were five. On that Kafue road, so many people are going. It's no longer funny. It's no longer funny. We can't be ignoring things and say, Oh, Paja, Bantua Mafa. Oh, Paja. Ah, Niger Day. We should look at what is happening spiritually there. And if you are even with the wrong people, target. Be in a place of prayer where we want to. Life has changed. Evil has become rampant. People want to suck blood of children of what, what, what. So you must be prayerful. I'll talk about these things because the last time we saw somebody who was driving on the other lane, children were walking from school, going this side, and the person crossed from that side to this side. And the three children who were supposed to go home on a normal day, they always walk home. They're normal. Must we now ignore and say, ah, but could speeding, ah, obviously the person was speeding. Because when we heard that our brother is involved in a car crash, the first thing people are sharing is a guy's screenshot where he said, make sure you don't speed. He was not even the driver. So you can't say his own was driving and he was speeding. When they have sent arrows against someone, he was meant to drive. She drove the car. And the arrow went to the wrong person. That's how spiritual works. We are talking about spiritual matters here. If somebody decides to do whatever they want, you guys in Zambia, you say, it's okay. Ah, Abanabo, Mulomo, it's their life. Who are you talking about? Me, I'm talking to my people who are planning today is Saturday to go with another married man. Or to go with somebody you don't even know the arrows that have been assigned against them. Life is spiritual. Avoid ammo. Avoid. If you have young children, your only insurance is prayer. That's it. Your only assurance. And ins you know people have this thing they call life insurance. The only insurance you have is prayer. I will use my platform to preach the gospel. You can call it whatever. Hey, it's not gospel. Oh, it's not. Whatever. We don't sugarcoat. That is why you see young people finding themselves even with married men. And when they find themselves with married men, they catch HIV. Right now, if we said, let's start talking about HIV, people will be quiet here. And yet, some quietly go to different centers to collect medication. Nobody wants to talk about these things. Why should we talk about it? It's private life. We are, we are a reserved country. We pretend uh, we, we don't talk about these things. We don't talk about, but a lot of things are happening. Whether church, whether outside church. And the more we talk about them, they help us. To send an awareness of why you should preserve your life in Christ. Life is spiritual. Imagine a person decides in their life that they don't need God. It's Saturday today. The car crash has happened today. It's Saturday. Many of you will be going to different places today. It's Saturday. You're going to have a good time. I remember one lady. She decided to go out with a certain group of friends. And that lady, on that day, when there was a crash, she was the only one who jumped out. 
arrows when they are sent when they are sent for someone and you are found with them automatically you carry it that's the way it is because that person is a target so what they do spiritually is they don't want to make it look like it was an arrow so they will send an arrow to the person who is driving. You will even find that the person was on the road. Just so even a big, something like a big animal. They try to swerve. By the time they swerve, the truck is there. They, as they try to divert, they're already in the bush. The car has somehow started. They are gone. Enough is enough. We cannot be sugarcoating the truth in the name of it's emotional. Let's feel for the what? Let's feel for this. What is there to feel for someone? When somebody decided to choose the path and then they don't care about what people thought. When you choose a path, the other day I saw one of the girls was commenting, it's my life. In fact, this weekend, I'm going again to enjoy my life. Nobody can stop me. That is exactly what these people are defending. They feel and they do. It's my life. Let me go and enjoy my life. So why are you defending people who say this is their life? If somebody decides this is my life, this is what I want to do. Then you'll be saying, ah, we ah, we ah, we why should we be sugarcoating the truth when we are trying to educate people that life is spiritual? We have seen people going through Akakande ministries crying, man of God, help me. Man of God, help me. My marriage broke. And perfect. Kakande says, do you remember that time when you went after your friend's husband? This is not even just for one person, whatever. These are things that are happening. Somebody is married, is going for someone, the best friend's husband. Exchanging. And then when the man speaks, yes, man of God, it's true. It's true, man of God. It's true. Help me, man of God. He prays for you. You continue. Something happens bad to you. When you received your deliverance, you have to maintain it with character. Your behavior as well. The Gen Z nation, the Gen Z time, this time of Gen Z. I talked about gambling the other day when Pompey said uh, gambling, this and that and that. It was a very nice post. And I said, you know, any gospel artist, when they come out like that, it's a very good thing because they're educating the young people. A young man posted insults about me. Have you seen? She prays into people's information, insults, and people were laughing. K -k 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 -k. Do you know that I received over 100 messages of people who have lost family members because of gambling, of people who are in debt because of gambling, or people who have divorced because of gambling. And I said, you know, sometimes you, you yourself, you say, it's too much. So you want me to stop to talk. I'm not going to stop. It's my page. If you don't like my page, you leave. I've got so many people that follow me. 300,000 at that across the world. So people, ah, it's their life. When I'm away, must you talk about people? Why should they be gambling? It's their life. There's no jobs. You are you are sugar coating something intuitively wrong. You are now making it as if that's the right thing. We should be doing it. It's okay. Leave them in their life. Imanem, if you you are entertained, you love it. Go to those pages where they say it's okay. We cannot be seeing certain things and be keeping quiet because Zambians will say you are talking too much. I personally came on this page. And I said, the way hunting is dressing is not good. Hey. Just because you don't know fashion. Hey, this is the way they're supposed to dress. I said, that is a married woman. Whether you like it or not, in any culture, even if you see Nigerian movies or whatever, in any culture, a married woman, her body is sacred. Mama, mama. It's a lie. They went to her page, baby girl, baby girl. 
she even became worse. And what were people saying? Ah, Auntie Didi, have you seen Oku? How of a I said, ah, uh -uh. you are the ones who said what she's doing is right. So let her continue. Now she's going to the clubs. Ha ah, ha I said, no. You are the people who said what she was doing is right. So in this case, as any mother and me who has children, I will say this. When you are a woman, be responsible when you have kids. Two minutes enjoyment, 15 minutes enjoyment, one minute enjoyment can cost you your life. And your child or children will be left without a mother. I speak to women because that's where my ministry target is. And like Apostle Joshua Selman says, when a woman prays, God listens. Because a woman, we are not only birthing chambers, we also birth destinies. Our mission is to birth destinies. And therefore, you must know how you carry yourself. Can't be careless with your life. You cannot be careless. You go to a place, you are drinking in a bar, you are seated, you are enjoying. And then people say, it's, it's your life, baby. Go out. Somebody with a destroyed home that everybody knows on media is the one advising you to say, baby, go out. You think it's the spirit of God behind them. The enemy comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And in any fatality, where there is fatal like this, the enemy is clapping. We have won the battle. Don't be taken by the economy is hard. The economy is hard. How am I going to survive? Let me just go with this one. So many, when I'm saying, I said so many Zambian women, not just Zambia, Africa. They are going with married men. They are going with other men. They are having side dudes in the name of survival. I want to feed my children. At our center, we received two young ladies. They are both mothers. They came to the center and they cried. I said, what's wrong? I'm saying this because their story is on another page. Um, so their identity will never be disclosed anyway. They were crying, cried, cried, cried. I said, Nishi, Madam Lily, I'm HIV positive. She's also HIV positive. I said, what happened? Um, because we have one one child, the other one has two. I have one. The only way to survive is we, we line up in this. I won't say the area for the sake of their protection. We line up in this area and we have men and they pay 50 kwacha. Ah! Because of 50 kwacha, women are on ARVs for life. Because of 50 kwacha, Women are going to places for a man to pick them because of 50 kwacha. So when we talk about this thing, ah, when I am ah, in life, you want to come hey, is it your body? The message is not for you, it's for people that follow this page. We have our people who follow the page, and here we don't sugarcoat anything. If we can talk about people and try to analyze situations and the people even call us to say ah but true what you analyze here 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 we analyze with scripture don't be careless i was sharing my testimony this morning i said life was so tough for me in the uk 2015 2014 so tough and I cried to God, I said, God, make a way for me. I was holding documents. I knelt down. I had different disappointments. 
this letter, this, this letter, this. No joke. I lifted the letter. Say, God, answer me and I will praise your name. Before you know it, immigration in this country called me. We heard that uh, uh, you're going through a time. I said, yes, because you've delayed my documents. So now even the job where I was working, they said I cannot work. They said, I will authorize for you to be accommodated. Before you know it, I went to court. The judge said, you will accommodate Miss Mutambo until you grant her leave to remain in this country. Within six months. Why? Because I called on God. Why? Because I did not say, ah, since life now is super, I've got three children. Ah, let me just go to that man here. Yeah, that man, he's got a very um, good business. He's doing well. Let me go to that person. No, I decided that I will stand. And when my papers were granted, I said, God, I'll use my papers to worship you, to glorify your name, to call on your name because you are the author and finisher of my life. I put my, my trust in God. And after that, later on, you know how it is, ah, just want to chew and everything. But last year, August, I learned my lesson. That when you drift away a little bit from Christ, <laughs> the enemy will strike in any shape or form. In any way, the enemy will strike. Because you have allowed yourself. And I made a vow from the 3rd of August that I will use my page to educate people on why they should not allow themselves vulnerable. Anytime I do a live stream like this, I receive messages of even women. They will tell me, Madam Lily, thank you. There's a married man who was promising me that I should go to his house. But your message has touched me. One lady came to testify when we had a conference. She said, you know, when we are hearing preaching here, trust in God, trust in God. She was in the church and the married man was calling her to say, come, I'll give you money. And she was thinking, ah, I don't even have anything. I will go. But something told her, just stay. She stayed. As she stayed, few phone calls. People just called her from nowhere. Ah, you know, do you know this? That time, remember, 1,000. Before you know it, she had about 5,000 kwacha given to her like that. She came to give testimony. Madam Lin, I can't believe this. She came first to me. This is what I've got. I said, testify, encourage other people. Why are we sharing this? We're sharing this because we don't want you to face future battles. When you pray, when we say join Pastor Jerry in the morning, join Alpha Hour at night, midnight, we also have Prophet Malachi. We are not saying join because you have nothing to do. We are not saying for you to join because... Uh, that's the only thing you can do. We are saying join because spiritual world is on another level. In Zambia, we take it so casually because in Zambia, uh, we don't have the sea so much. But when you watch Pamulomo Z, that guy, that's when you know that Zambia has spiritual power on another level. And you cannot joke about it because... Uh, you don't want to pray. Even in those places you go, there are people who just coming there from the dark world to initiate you, to infect you with spirit. Did you know there was such a thing called spiritual HIV? It's there. Spiritual F HIV exists. Spiritual TB, they exist. Tekulanda T, ngatamupitene, nishitumoro, your life is, 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 is... There are so many ways you can have a good time. Be careful. It's not everybody you follow. Follow, follow. You're following this one. You're following this one. Be careful. And in any case, it's not my wish or, you know, to say, ah, 
this one, we're wishing this person this. No, what we're saying is we should learn from others for the sake of tomorrow. We have this young guy that passed away in Nigeria a few days ago, Junior Pop. He was on the phone. I'm the only son to my mother. Please, I'm the only son to my mother. He was making a confession. Now only me, the boy. I have three children to look after. I need to do, look after them. Imagine a man crying like that. A man. You, a woman, it should be your cry. I will look after my children. Me, I looked after my children. Eileen has even gone out for her friend's wedding. They were like this. That's why I call them my twins. One was three, one was four, when their father left from Ghana. And I, there are so many things I cut off. I don't go to Zambian functions here in the UK. I don't go out. I dedicated my life working hard to make sure those children were looked after. Today they are now 16, 15. The one who's 16 is even helping me with the baby. Raise your children. Nobody will raise them for you. People will smile with you when you're alive. Smile. Hey, Junior, Buela. My auntie, my Buela. Auntie will hug. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah, I love you, baby. Give the child hugs when you die. Auntie will not be there. When you are not the auntie will not be there. Look after your children as if you are even a single mother. Though you are married. Plan your life well. Plan your life around the children. Weekend like this, take them to the park. Take them to different places. Enjoy with them. Small, small. A child is not difficult to please. Just even ice cream. A child will be happy. Hey, the economy is hard. Who are you tell us? There are so many ways you can do peace work here and there. And what I know about this God is that when you call on his name, he will make things possible in a life and so beautiful that opportunities will start coming your way women may you not be embarrassed hmm. there's a number that i called before that lady was trying to call somebody a man and I called that number. I said, ah, who are you? I think the person was trying to use my phone. I, I don't remember because I had given my WhatsApp line to one of the guys at church. And the woman called back to say, oh, sorry, ma'am. It's not my phone. The owner of the phone died. I said, ah. So are you telling me this person was calling a ghost? I said, ah. In fact, she died last week in Livingstone. When I did some research, trying to check what happened, things like that, then the lady also, she shared, said, no, even as a family, we are embarrassed. Our sister went with a married man. That time, I think that news was on Facebook. They went to Livingstone. It was bad. May you not die a shameful death. It's not your portion. May you live a life of acknowledging Jesus as your savior. May you live a life where you recognize that without God, you are nothing. He is your author. Many people, they admire your marriages. Kajekamamuna, kavutika chabe, leave him and enjoy yourself it's your life 
and you leave your husband. And you know some of these men, they are so nice. They will even be there quiet. You go. Kaido, you are the breadwinner. Especially women who are breadwinners. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Men are in trouble. The man will wash the children. He will go. Come back 0103. Hey, boy. Uzi enda chabe mwanti. Ala, after all, sase menza. What does the Bible talk about union? Two shall become one. Why should the world know that your husband has no job? Why should the world know that this is what is happening? You can gather a few resources, empower him to start a little business, and you start pushing together. I know women who come for me, the feminists. Oh, the man, when he starts business, then you start going for other men, other women. We are talking about women who pray. You pray for your husband, pray together. When you pray together, God will change your story. And if the man changes, he will send fire. It should never be like this. 30 minutes, one hour of your demise. Embarrassing stories, embarrassing facts. We had a young lady who passed on. Everybody had a lot of good things to say about her. Ah, Ujamwana. Ujamwana. Ah, that child. Ah, that child. I remember when my auntie last year, she was having an operation. I was never told. Most of us didn't know. And she decided to undergo the operation. I never knew that death of an aunt is painful. Ah! It's painful to lose a loved one in whatever circumstance. So when you're doing certain things, you should always remember that there's people behind you who look up to you, who don't want to lose you. So look after your lifestyle. You lose nothing. For those of you who like drinking, you buy one. Those days I used to drink. I have a chiller there. I buy my wine from the shop. Sit there, drink, watch a nice Nigerian movie. After that, sleep. Wake up the following day. Good morning, children. Breakfast in bed. This Kawan is giving you breakfast. This Kawan is telling you, Mommy, do you want juice? By the way, they never seen me drunk. And I don't do, I never used to do drunk, drunk, no. Just, just a glass of wine or so. So if you are that type of a person, you can't stop. You are still trying. You can do your glass at home whilst you are trying to stop. But my encouragement to you, learn from this. Learn. We will not be continuously preaching the same thing. And somebody will come and say, Hey, Nishi, ni life you have on our page, we don't sugarcoat. Me, I'm as brutal honest like this. Even my family know me. I don't... Maybe it's because of the way I've been raised in the British culture for 20 years, where you can't lie here. A is A is B is B. The British people, they want you to be honest. You are saying something, you tell them, this is what is happening. This is what is happening. For the sake of your children's future. The enemy knows that your children have a bright future. So, he will attract you with the things for you to enjoy now. By the time you realize it's too late, you're gone. And when you're gone, your children's destiny is affected. They suffer. The same so, 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 so family member, they will now become administrator. This applies to both men and women. They become administrator, collect everything. Your children now, they'll be in one place like that, suffering. And people say, Yeva, Nava. 
wish the back with them beer. Now, Anina, yeah, that's what the enemy is fighting. The enemy is not fighting you. You're already grown up, you're 30, you're 40. But the future of those children, when you look at that Nigerian guy, he's got three handsome children, very talented. And he, even when he was on the speedboat, he said, it's only me who is looking after my, my children. Meaning, the enemy has head. Oh, with the bright future those children have. Hey, let's strike for them to live in poverty. The enemy is not joking, guys. We are surrounded by enemies. We you call frenemies. Me, I know women group so in Zambia. I just can't mention. Some even come to confess in my inbox. One woman told me that. Ah, I won't say. But so many they share their difficulties and they talk about how even their bosses at work, they are after them. And you know, if they don't comply, they'll lose their job. My sister, if your boss wants you in bed, leave it and tell God, the job that you have given me, the man is doing this. If not, pray and that man will be fired or moved somewhere. Or you'll be moved somewhere, transferred somewhere. We should live morally right without compromising and looking at the word of God. And I, I get shocked that Zambia is a Christian nation. But you hear people, somebody wears a shirt. Right now there's a song challenge that all of you are, are, are dancing. Thank you so much, Honorable uh, Hivey, Hamdudu Hivey, for joining us. I know you've been watching for some time. It's an honor to have you, sir. You see women, they are dancing the song. The, the song is saying, how much are you selling? And you are dancing because it's the song that they are dancing. A song that you cannot even <laughs> dance with your children. That's why me on my page, I can never share secular music since last year, August 3rd, 2023. For those of you who did not get me last time. Last year, August 2023, I will never share any secular music on my page because I know my walk and stance with Christ. Ah, the Bible says, do not judge. The same Bible tells us to correct our children when they are wrong. So I don't know which Bible you read. And that's the quote they like. Thank you, Sassy, for bringing that comment. Do not judge. That's why you see a women doing all sorts of things because the Bible says do not judge. You now want to... And they use the Bible to uh, help them Yes, with what they are doing. I said it even before I read comments. I said you will hear them come up with all that those are the scriptures they know. Tell us which other Bible verse you know. You don't know. The Bible says do not judge. There are so many instances that the Bible means about do not judge. Why the same Bible will tell you. The same Bible will tell you. To leave your husband or your wife in an instance of cheating. But you people say, hey, Bible had a Kenya divorce. Bible had a Kenya divorce. <laughs> My dear, read your Bible. <laughs> it will tell you. <laughs> Somebody saying, yes, that's your choice. Leave others to their choice on my page, darling. We teach people the truth. Maybe if you entertain people to do all sorts of things. By the way, last time, Aunt Millie came on live. And she said, hey, I date your father. 
all of you, you came and said, what type of insult is that? <laughs> you see how hypocritical you are? Like, ah! <laughs> there is no one I'm correcting, my friend. You have missed the point. 1K people watching. <laughs> Marina, in Nigeria, we had 36,000 people watching and it was amazing. Right message at the right time. No, at the wrong time. This is the right time to speak. There will never be any. What if tomorrow somebody wants to jump in another car of a married man and they will die? This is the right time to speak for us to prevent future deaths. <laughs> okay? Anybody who is a celebrity or you are in the public eye, unfortunately, that's how it is. People come in. Yes, Moriana. Chewe is saying what you're saying is true. You want, today is Saturday. Someone is preparing to go. What if my message has come at the right time to prevent them from going and say, ah, wakamba. Ah, sini enda kolelo. You understand? I'm not saving you. I'm saving other people. I don't have time to go to work because you don't know that I'm a CEO. <laughs> ah, my dear, we work for ourselves. It's you that needs to go and do shift. Me, I don't. I sit and get paid to sit at home because I have people that work for me. I just don't publicize what I do. This is all you know about me. And Duku. <laughs> Hi. Yes, Shadrach, thank you so much. I love people who say this. For the wages of sin is death indeed. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. This is a man. Uh, Emmanuel, I, I, I like it when men talk because, you know, they're on my side. Tell us, Twaripena. <laughs> ah, okay, Prince, true woman, the Bible allows that tells us, woman of God, yes, it's important to keep quiet at times, Vane. My dear, go to your page. Uh, here we don't keep quiet. Ah, yeah, Moriana said, Mwandi, Nifila, and Deni, Auntie, you don't sugarcoat. Most of the times I talk on my page and people take my videos. So I've told people not to take my videos anymore. Um, oh. And you'll be seeing them defending because they're in the same league. <laughs> okay. No, I'm not talking about the guy. I didn't say anything about him. Me, I'm focused on the girl. Even in the beginning, I was focusing on the girl. Thank you, Bulalo says my skin is, uh, is glowing. You are saying, oh, she has time, but you are on my page. It's you who has time. Me, I'm talking to the wall. <laughs> ah. uh -huh. mm, TV show, yala shup, of course. <laughs> Honestly, maybe Banner said, you speak a lot of truth and sense. If only. Uh, okay, so. Oh, Mwila says the people saying it's important to keep quiet are the ones buying bundles. <laughs> are the ones buying whose bundles? What do you do, Kanch Bossi? Fear man, feel last one. Ah, me. I don't say what I do now. I'm jobless. <laughs> I sit at home and wait for child support. <laughs> like what people have said. Uh, the what I do. You know, learn something, guys. Don't disclose your source of feeding and wealth. Again, the enemy strikes. Last year, they dealt with me. People were jealous of my business, what I was doing. So now, I just look like I'm just on Facebook. But I'm quietly pushing files. Not small files, big files. My duty is not to tell you what I'm doing, but to encourage you to call on God. That's it. And you answer your prayers. Okay. So prayers from married women are dangerous to side chicks. Stop. Yes. Thank you. If there's somebody who is married, dating a married man, prayers of a, a married woman are dangerous. Be careful. Miriam from South Africa. Thank you so much. 
boss now me says that's why i love you mommy lily because you always stand for the truth let those who have ears let them hear speaking of this issue of footballers <laughs> zambians are very funny um emmanuel what, what's his name that guy i don't know why i always think his name is manu what's the name of the guy who married I didn't mention the guy. I've not said anything. I just said people say it. But what's the name of that guy who married his wife's best friend? And all of you, what you do, you go and insult that woman. You go to that page, you insult that woman. And the guy doesn't answer you. And because the guy doesn't answer you, now you guys, you, you, you just look and say, oh, looking good, looking good, looking good. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember the footballer? What's his name? The one who has married. Hi, Liz Talman. How are you? Good to see you. The footballer. There's a footballer in Zambia. At least, Frida Temer said, at least I've learned something today. May God protect you and your family. Yes. Dora says, at least. Ah, my dear. God, sugar, God, whatever. Okay, the Bible tells us in Matthew 25, verse 6, And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, and the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. At midnight. That's why you should always come out at midnight to cry. Thank you, Patson Daka. Was he married to his ex? No, he wasn't. But many of you, You'll be talking about, hey, she took the friends, what? Hey, you took, took, took. Yeah, I don't, I don't know whether he engaged the girl. I just found the story in the middle. Hey, you talk, talk, talk. They are still married now. They're in UK. Hey, this is, they took pictures of themselves at a Christmas tree. Hey, he brought her even here. And the ex is even in UK working in a hospital. Part some darker. You understand? So you cannot if we, you leave judgment uh, for God. We are not judging. We are talking the truth here. To Ariba B is a fesana. It was Patson Daka. Hey, Patson Daka suffered in your hands. And then somebody will be with someone who's not her husband. She left her husband. You are supporting. Hey, do not judge. Ah uh ah. -uh. Me, I even support Paxson Daka because Paxson Daka was not married to anybody. <laughs> but you are saying, hey, do not judge. Hey, do not judge. The person has just one. The person. But Paxson Daka, every day to his page, you are insulting him for a girlfriend he left. Girlfriend, not wife. Okay. No one is judging. This is the truth. This is Bethel was talking. Okay? The Bible tells us in Romans 13 verse 11. And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Salvation is personal. There will never be a right time for salvation. We don't need to wait for no first one. That's why even at funerals, the pastor will preach and say, Ah, nga pari pari pamona monom nezuna to sha. Na move ne mu pokere ni yes pamariro. Pamariro. I don't know the news of the young man. My focus was not on him. I just said the lady who was with the man. We will hear the official news later. I'm sure he's getting better by now. Our spirits are high. So I cannot comment what I don't know. My own is the lady. May we not be found in certain situations and start comforting ourselves with like, no, no. My people, don't joke with things of God. 
Imagine somebody was on the phone. Nami born my children. No. We've seen the video. Few days. The person is dead. So are we going to wait first for funeral, postmortem, for the person to die, to be buried after three days, for us to save somebody who is about to go out now? Now, today is Saturday. This message is not for you. It's for the people who have come to this page to listen to what we are saying. You like to sugarcoat things. Anyway, my message is clear. Salvation is personal. And remember that you and me, our time can be any time. Any time. We have a man, Moape, in the United States of America. A Zambian who used to unify us as Zambians. He slept and he never woke up. So even you, you can sleep today. And not wake up. You are waiting for three days. This is the time for you. To receive Christ. Many of the people will be supporting certain things. They'll be the ones that are... Me, I've not mentioned anyone's name. I've actually said things as they are. And may you not find yourself in this situation. To leave children at five and six, it's not our portion. It's not our portion. I can imagine Ellen was four and three. I've seen them reach five. Five is too young to leave any child. Very young. Five, six, seven, very young. For those of you who don't watch my live stream earlier, we talked about even the lady in Rwanda as well, choices of marriage. We shared that let's have a spirit of discernment before we move anywhere. Even if it's your friend. Even if they are friends, guys. The question here is, we are with someone. Did you pray before you enter? Do you know the arrow that has been sent to that person? This should also teach you not to just enter any car anyhow. Because some people have been set traps. Okay. So guys, oh yeah, good. Ha. That's why I like my people here who understand the word. Proverbs 27 verse 5. Better in open rebuke than hidden love. It should be when we've come to say things publicly. People say, hey, you don't know how to go to someone's inbox. You go to someone's inbox, talk to them uh, uh, pub privately, and the person says, me, I can never listen to people's advice like this and this and that. Meanwhile, they will come to you in your inbox crying for advice. So this one is for the ones who will come and listen. Yes, we are from no more. The Bible says do not judge. The same Bible has told you to divorce your husband if he cheats. And the same Bible says the husband should divorce you if you are cheating. You can't be cheating on your husband and we should be good to go coach. It's mulong. Which mulong? You are the same women who cheat on your husbands. And then you want to justify. He beats me. That's why I'm cheating. Bule. Uh -uh. You want me to be raw like that? So, no, my husband, he beats me a lot. So that's why I cannot ne, be doing. Ne, I, that's why I'm cheating. That's why, you know, even justifying sin now. Justifying sin. Justifying something. Time waits for now on. The Bible says, let the bury bury themselves. Muntunga naf naf. Uh, understand okay um princess victims are always afraid 
please tell us, Mama, you are doing the correct things. Ah. Have you ever seen a, Bible, a pastor in a church asking for a permission to say, Lero nalala nda parich? Can I? Uh uh. <laughs> why don't you tell your pastor and say, Pastor, why are you preaching this? The pastor will come. Hey, I'm going to say, If you go on enough, it's Then you'll be saying, Ah, but Pastor Tavalandi is the one. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So Anne says, The word of God is very clear. The wages of sin is death. But in all, Chabi, Pamoe, sudden death, it's very painful. So. In order for us not to have too many sudden deaths, please, we are asking you, we are preventing you. In case you are planning to go with a married man, don't. One. Two. In case you are married and you want to go with a, 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 a sugar boy, don't. Three. Avoid people's cars before you know what they have, who they are. Who is after them, their life? Avoid. Dorothy, it's never too early for anything. Ule, yes. Chibuya is saying, I think you wanted me to be saying, how way is that? Ule. Okay. So, Ule, what if Tale Kupela Impia? Okay. Oh, I have a heart. Have you ever seen somebody who commits aikulika and a life? Have you ever been to a service like that? <laughs> Have you ever attended such a service? The pastors don't even want the body in their church. After that, at the graveyard, the pastor just say, receive your salvation, blah, 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 put you there. Those days, I think they even used to turn the body upside down. You cannot be careless with your life. And you say we, are, we should be, uh, be careful. People are mourning. Somebody did not even think about the children. Did not even think about what people will think in case they found us. No, Abigail, I'm not talking about the guy. I'm talking about the lady. Barbara said, that's why I love you. I love you. Huh. Okay. Muyo Yeta says, prayers from married women are dangerous to side chick. Stop. It's a warning. Okay, yeah. I already did that. Tandy said, sense. Esther. Oh. You are the people who go for, mar for married men. That's why you, are, you laugh and defend rubbish on social media. Too much wool in Zambia. And you are sugar coating. Hey, ni life yandi. Hey, kai de banana konkere. You even said just fine. Kwa de ben pari. And if the person is even in Tonga. Hey, kwa de ben pari. The other day we did a live stream for the lady who passed on. A situation, I did not favor the man, what the man did. But the whole situation, the story is that the woman was dating the minister. And because of that, the husband decided to do what he did, which I did not support. Now, secondly, according to people who are part of this family, do you know what they said? They said that this particular woman was dating this man, Mike, whilst he was still married to a wife of four children. After which, that, after those, uh, uh, that man was dating that woman, they would even go to the house and the woman would be packed in the bedroom of the children. That lady Valerie that died, Franco, and I did the live stream, they still had a funeral. Why didn't you come for me? Valerie Franco, that's what people were saying, was apparently dating this guy, Mike, whilst she was married. And because of the relationship between Valerie Franco and this man, that's why the relationship between Mike and the husband, wife ended. A mother of four children. So, Mike decides to marry Valerie Franco. Takes her in her house, Mike Ilishevo. And Valerie continues dating relationship with a minister. In this case, we're talking about Jaime. I've got all the videos, pictures of the child. And the child looks exactly like the minister. I have the pictures and the videos. 
And I said, if you look at the comments from people, ah, is it wrong for the man to date this woman? It's their relationship. They are adults. Look at the way you are sugarcoating sin. A man is married to his wife. Leaves his wife, makes this woman pregnant. This woman pretends that she's with this man and that's his child. And yet that child does not belong to that man. The man finds out. Tries to confront this minister Haimbe. Haimbe knows he's guilty. That's why he's ready to meet this person. The next thing, this guy decides to unalive his wife. I didn't support that. But the minister himself, his conscience should clearly tell him that he shouldn't be in that position. You were all clapping. Minister, continue. Don't worry. Ah, it's, 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 there's nothing wrong. That's your personal relationship. What is that? Since when did Zambia become like that? That's not the Zambia I know. The Zambia I know had values. And morals. We've been morally upright people. Since when did we start clapping for side chick? Since when did we start clapping for somebody going in a car with a man who is not her husband? The whole internet. You see how hypocrites you are? The whole internet was castigating Kiddist and uh, Mark II's wife for chilling with men. And there was videos. But... This one, you are now saying, no, ah, wait, ah, she's, uh, uh, you don't judge. Ah! The same internet you are sharing, look, look at her. Whilst the husband, yet the husband allowed kids to go out. But you were talking, in this case, this woman, the husband is not even aware where this woman is. And you want me to sugarcoat, for who? When your maps knew that Kiddis has gone with her friends, that's why you see even his reaction. But you want to look at that. Death is inevitable. Inevitable what way? Who told you? Who told you that death just comes like that? You've never heard of untimely death. That's why you post death, death is inevitable. I'm to my iPhone more full and you start saying. Death is inevitable. Bye bye. bye bye. Just mind your business. Get out from my page. Period. Uh -uh. What happened to Mike Ilishew? That tragedy. Is it something we can joke about and say, ah, let's not talk about it? I spoke about it. You understand? I spoke about it. All these people commented, they are sugar boys. That's why they are worried. Their business will finish. <laughs> a, a man with sense will comment like this man, Prince. This is not judging, Mama. Let those who know what judging means. My own is, if women, you know that you don't love the man, why should you go and have a child from a man outside who's not your husband bring the child at home and the man discovers and then the whole world should forgive her what has the bible said the bible itself has said they should divorce in this case elisha decided to do what he did again how sure are we that elisha did that <laughs> You need to open your eyes with certain things. You understand? And I said, no matter what, that's their relationship, yes. But for the sake of integrity and this thing that is happening, if the minister can even step down. A lot of women were clapping for Valerie. You know why? Because Valerie... Is what they do. Like Valerie. So they were clapping for Valerie. Hey, it's her choice. What, 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 what? No. Money. Everyone, their time will come, yes. But it should not come 
anyhow. You understand? Arrows are sent to people who are not in a place of prayer. Margaret is saying, Kulima sniper women in marriages. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. That this is an example, but this is what many women are doing. Many. In Africa, many. That's what they are doing. And should we be saying, no, we cannot talk about it. Let's not talk about it. It's too early. What's too early? When we go even to the funeral, and now, today, we're going to preach, you say, you never know your tomorrow, and be careful who you surround yourself with. And have you received Jesus as your personal savior? Nobody is celebrating death anywhere. You, nobody celebrated death anywhere. I said, we need to learn from every situation. The guy in Nigeria has not been buried. Why didn't you come and say, why are people still talking and not be buried? He's not yet been buried. In Nigeria, they even take six months to bury. Mobad, he was re... I don't think they've reburied Mobad. You understand? Nobody is, is, is celebrating. No, I said learn from this situation. Learn, learn. I've never heard anyone dying because they did not go clubbing. I've never. The last time I went out to any place when in Zambia I went with my husband, but like personally me as a young lady, 2012. 2012. We are now over 10 years later. There are some things we prevent for the sake of tomorrow. I talked about gambling. Mom, 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 mom. Hey. <laughs> Forgetting the person who posted this Pompey. I just said, Pompey, well done. I was the one insulted. Hey, she doesn't mind her own business. Uh -uh. The person is saying, let's have rules, regulations, how people are doing this. In other countries, it's regulated just like tobacco is regulated. Ah, You don't want to hear the truth. You want to sugarcoat Unfortunately for you people, even at the funeral, you will not be there at any funeral. But in funerals, it's where people even talk these things. Can you imagine an achita so, mundu, an achita so? They start saying, everybody will just become abate muandi. Uyu mundu analuvia nyamana. Kusia vana bangon. May it not be your portion. May it not be your portion. It's not my wish. To see any mother leave a child. That's why I'm speaking. When God speaks, like Shan Tira is saying, the wise listen. Tomorrow we'll come back again. Another. E How long did Valerie die? How many weeks ago? How many days? Not long. And the issue was, the reason why the husband did this was because the wife was cheating. Come and see how women came up with all these. The feminists. The feminists came out with so much. <laughs> That's why I am not married. Because in this marriage, as if you can die. Tutu, you, are, you, you, miss, you, you don't understand what we're saying. Tutu. Tutu, you can. Tutu, hey. People were sub. Yeah. How they came out? The feminists. <laughs> Only to discover, to say the reason why is because the woman was cheating. Did they come out? <laughs> Did they come out, the women, to talk? The moment they heard the woman was an ally. The defense force came. That's why I'm single. But the same ones who even say, that's why I'm single. Go and check their dirty cupboards. They are dating married men. That's why I'm single. But you're driving big, big, big cars. That's why I'm single. This one will be saying, me too. That's why I left my marriage. Me too. That's why I'm... Da, 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 da. Meanwhile, they don't even say. <laughs> Meanwhile, they don't even say. 
that they were cheating on their husbands. That's why the relationship ended. So we should, no, because Valerie is dead. So we shouldn't talk. The one big chile, that issue of the woman. The woman got rid of the husband because she saw that the man was cheating. The women were clapping. Well done. Uh -uh. Are you okay? So only the men, men can never be victims. It's only women who are victims. You, do, you don't even know. Maybe they are separated. That's why they are doing this and this. The fact is, we know that you are married. You are with another man who is the best friend to your husband. You have left two children. Whatever you were doing in that car, only you know. And then this comes out that you are normal. We should be clapping. We should be saying, hey, what? No, you are not understanding what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, we should live our lives in a way that we preserve ourselves in case of tomorrow and the future. Because you don't know even the cars you are entering. The people you are surrounding themselves. Maybe that arrow was for the driver. You decided to drive the car. That was my message. Listen. And this man was a passenger. We thank God he is alive and breathing. Okay? Somebody says, death does not just come mostly. We open doors for the devil through sex. These are my people commenting. People are commenting. You are opening doors anyhow. This is what I was saying even the other day. Even our celebrity people, they are going to club A, club B, even though they just want to go and have fun. Somebody somewhere will be planning evil against them to the point that they will be there drinking. Someone will do something in their drink. When there is something in their drink, they will now be drunk. They don't know where they are. They are unconscious. Somebody removes their clothes, take picture, share the whole internet to say, look at what she does when the husband is not here. That's what I was saying. Let's not accept to be part of these traps. You, if you want to die young, you can do whatever you want. Us who want to live long, we will follow the path of Christ. Thank you. Okay. Monde says, that's our head girl doing a good job. The truth hates them. Even the some people commented on my page to say, if this woman is true, she's with this guy. If the husband, they are still together. If I were the husband, that's what people were saying. I would never have the funeral at my house. Would you blame a man whom you have lied to? To say you've gone here only for you to find yourself cheating. Even if you are not cheating, you are with another man. We don't know what you're doing there. And to go to Kafio, what do you do in Kafio with another man? Before you even get there, the plans of the enemy catapult. And the enemy embarrasses you. Please don't tag people here on my page who are in Southeast. Okay? On my... Okay. This person is saying this is not judging. Oh, Elia. Elias, thank you. I was waiting to see you so I can block you. Thank you. See you on the other side. You can go and comment on those pages where they disrespect women and talk all sorts of things. You are the same people that are make even women to be doing all these things. See a man defending women doing rubbish. I will say it in my life. So I say what Valerie did is not fair on the husband. What he did is not fair. But the relationship between her and the minister the alleged relationship is not good. But the man is on life support. And we are praying that God will heal him. But for the lady, you see what has happened? This is what I'm saying. You are in that situation. The person that you even followed, God has helped them in their life. He will even marry. You will leave your children. That's the moral of the story here. And my prayer is the guy should be alive, perfect. Father, protect our football player. 
Now, how is this woman's family going to be feeling when they see the man is walking? He's even enjoying. And you know, Facebook, I, you people even post his wedding to one of his baby mamas or maybe his wife, whoever he wants to marry. You'll be angry. Choose well your choices. Uh -uh. <laughs> Choose well. The man who even marry, have wedding. These same Zambian people, you are very fun. <laughs> a footballer again. Our footballers, they have a lot of stories. A footballer. He was cheating on his wife with a lady whose sister is a celebrity. And when that lady, because people didn't know much. When that lady died, it was all over. The man, the woman has died, the woman has died. She died of depression. Okay? A woman entered their marriage, hmm? destroyed their relationship, and the man ended up cheating and doing all sorts of things. And this woman, the Zambian woman, ended up being depressed and died. This woman, the side chick, they buy her a car. And it was posted on Facebook three months later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Those of you who are saying, look, look, look. <laughs> like, are you okay? What is going on? A woman just died three months ago because of this relationship. The man starts posting this woman and buys a car. You are celebrating her. Meaning that woman's death is nothing. Forgetting that this woman has even left her children. Today, that man is displaying this girl that caused the death. Now, listen to this prophecy. That marriage will not last. I said it. Because there are certain things you don't do. Do it in the right manner. There's a lady, I did a live stream like this, a video from Malawi. A Malawian woman in the United Kingdom had COVID. The time of COVID in 2021. A very beautiful woman, a pastor. She had a group on Facebook from Malawi. Many people from all over the world joined. And on that group, she was preaching about how women should be prayerful and everything. So this Zimbabwean lady was, the, the Malawian woman was a nurse, married to this guy. I believe they are all Malawians, yeah. Malawi or Zimbabwe, yeah. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, Malawi, between the two. So this woman, this is a true, it's there on my YouTube channel. I can actually download the videos and share. This man, the wife died of COVID. She was a nurse. That time nurses, even though they were having gear, some were having COVID, she died. So when she died, it wasn't even up to two months or so. This lady, the pastor that was friends with this woman was displaying their love and affection on Facebook. I did a video. I can even show it is on my YouTube channel. And I said, this one, that they are doing this, it's not nice. People came, hey, it's their life. The woman is dead. So what do you want me to do? I said, it's not nice at all. Following the circumstances that, that this woman was friends with this woman. It's not nice. Hey, people spoke. That lady from Malawi was preaching a page is there on facebook i'll find her let me even find the story on my page on my youtube channel hi hey, you people are just knowing me now on facebook i used to do these stories on on, on youtube malawi pasta um i want to show you that it's not today i started talking about these matters malawi pasta 
um, Lily Mutam's TV. This is a lady. Yeah, you see that? I did this story three years ago. Three years ago. And I said, why has this lady decided to go for someone three years ago? This was when now she had died. Her name was Ethlet Miscott. Search for her. She went for her friend's husband. I came and I did a live stream. I did on my YouTube. We discussed it. Ethlet just slept and she never woke up. When people even know that you're in a relationship with somebody who is a family and you don't want to stop, they will send an arrow towards you. This is her. This is her athlete. Oh, three years ago, she died. If this woman had even kept the relationship with this man, quiet, wait for two years, three years, then announce she would have been alive. It's not everything that you come and announce on media. And some relationships, they are no-go area. What if the man's fiancé was on a prayer altar? What if one of the mothers of his children was praying for him? That's why he's still alive with our God. I love him as a footballer. I've never heard anything about him, but he's been a good guy. But women, they follow these men because footballers have money. <laughs> See someone has a Benz, you're even driving his car. What were you doing driving a man who is not your husband? What were you doing? Those are the questions we should be asking ourselves and not saying, hey, it's too early. Which is not too early, which is not too soon. That's the path someone has chosen. Should we sugarcoat? No. What we're saying is be careful. Life is spiritual. Don't find yourself in such situations. The enemy is there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. May you not be in that situation. God is faithful, but we limit him. Many of you people limit this God. You're struggling, you go for someone's husband. How can you explain this? A woman is married, had a beautiful wedding. Everybody admired it. It's on even royalty makeup page. Only to hear that the child she was carrying was not for her husband, but for somebody else. How? How? Like how? How? A Nigerian man recently did DNA of his children. One is 33, the other one is 22, and found both of his children are not his children. How? How? How, my people? With all these things we are learning. Okay. Okay. Let's put it into context. The woman goes to Kafiwe, has a good time. Comes back home. Her husband asks for sex. No, I'm tired. I'm on my period. The husband checks down there. Finds that, mm -mm, I can see there's different thing there. You did something. They start fighting. In fighting, something happens. The woman, boom, kapai. They call it kapai in Nigerians, unalived. The man tries to rush the woman to the hospital, pronounced unalived. The internet will rise against that man. Do you know that God has saved that man? 
Do you know that God has saved that man? <laughs> look at this. But you yourself don't look like a loyal wife. Oh, look at you. <laughs> don't mind these useless children who are coming to comment. Kairi, they know that they are guilty. Do you know that God has saved this man? Yes. <laughs> By exposing his wife in the open. Whereby maybe the man was suspecting that the wife is cheating. But people say, when I wear, hey, I'm an shahud, I'm a, I want. The man would have been the one in Mike's situation. But God has saved him. <laughs> There are some situations you should even say, God, thank you. Wherever the man is, ah, Zambia is too small now. <laughs> People who want to meet their husband, I will get all the data by tomorrow. No worry. I will come and even tell you what the husband is saying. <laughs> Wait. Zambia is too small. If this woman had reached home, and maybe people did kacha kacha picture, sent to him, say, ah, we saw your wife in Kafue. And there was fire in the mountain in the house. You, the internet. Hey. <laughs> Zambian men, they are not good. This is what they are doing. This is what they are doing. You would have all been fighting the man, fighting for justice, standing here, saying this and that. Yet, the man was simply maybe trying to ask this woman. Things happened. And maybe one slap, the woman falls. Guys, they are fighting, you know these things. God has saved that man from trouble. So that he can raise his children and he will marry another woman. Yes. He is entitled to marry. Even tomorrow, he should marry. If truly this woman is married, even tomorrow the man should marry. He has every right. The Bible is there. If a woman cheats, you move on. Yes. Gives you divorce. That's why some men, they try by all means. Somebody saying, even let Nessian TV's uh, present a situation. Yes, a woman was cheating. The woman, the people who are defending, that's what they do. Lisha was says Nigerian accent. My brother, me, I grew up around West African, so my accent is Ghana actually. Ghana, Nigeria, Uganda mix because I live with Ugandans, Nigerians, uh, um, Ghanaians, so it's mixed. <laughs> you can't blame me. Okay, thank you, love. I me, mean, that's when, when men comment. I say, me, I love Zambian men because there's a way in which when there's things like this, they know how to stop. He said there is a seed time and harvest time. When you sow a seed of fornication, <laughs> this is your harvest time. Either you'll be embarrassed, there'll be a baby. Chira, another man, I believe. Highly possible, Ati. Takubula umukaya. You can't hide. If ya kulia ubushiku. Fitulika kumarushi. I learned it the other day as well. Akuloshe ni mweba nensu. Okay. Loshe ni wino mkwai. Loshe ni. What I'm saying is. God has saved the husband. From another illegal situation. Remember you guys have smartphones. You would have taken pictures. Of. The, 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 the brother. Our brother. He'll be fine. Don't worry. He'll be fine. You would have. Taken the pictures of our brother. With a lady and say. Wow. Our brother has. A girlfriend now. You understand? You understand? The brother is 
seeing someone and people will share pictures on social media all over social media I say wow and then whoever is in a relationship with this lady I don't know what you people say I know in Zambia if you are staying with someone is your husband so maybe even if he's paid low well, is not I don't know all I know is if somebody is staying together there's a marriage okay and this person sees the picture. The woman comes. Ah, well, we just found ourselves. See, but, but people saw you cozy. They fight. Something happens. You, the same people. <laughs> okay, somebody said, we are in peacekeeping, DRC driver. Pray for us, our wives back home too. Yes! Uncle, I will pray for you. <laughs> But where is the evidence that they were dating? What if it was just a leaf? Are you okay? What would a woman be doing in a man's car and be a driver and be given a lift? Tell that to the birds. <laughs> Go and tell that story to children, not adults, okay? <laughs> so if the man had come across these pictures and he had shared and something happened, giddy, giddy, then... You use the same people, you drag the guy, ah, oh, so the woman is married, blah, blah, blah. And the man will say, oh, no, it is HIV, I won't say. You even say, ah, because never I'm conquer, you start blaming the woman, and then anything happens, you blame the man. In this case, God has saved the man. If she's married, people are saying she's married, and the husband, the best friend of the man, God has saved the man. Be careful, men, collecting people's wives. We are seeing people being stuck. A woman is stuck to a man who is not her husband. Or a man is stuck to... Be careful. People are doing even these things where they are stuck. Let's not pretend as if these things are happening. They happen. Hello, people say, That's what people say. To justify. What would a woman be doing in a car? Driving. And you say she was given a lift. Tell that lie to children who are in grade zero, not adults. I have no reason to drive my husband's friend's car. My husband has a very good friend of his. I come to Zambia. I have never ever even driven the man's car. But if I want to drive, I can. If I want to drive, I can. Because of the relationship my husband has with this person. How, the relationship we have as family. We are family friends. But the fact that it's my husband's friend is not my friend. You have to have boundaries. No huh? Yes, I can't let anything pass me. Because I am a vlogger. Started from 2019. Where were you? In fact... Some of the donations that we do on social media. They came through me being a vlogger and people donate. Okay? On YouTube, I used to talk about Boma and Nusambo. The political parties and everything. And very soon, one day you see me, I'll be in government. What are you going to say? It's because I stand for what's the truth. Uh -uh. Then when I'm in government, you'll be saying, Madam Lily, talk for us. I will not talk. I'll be quiet. Yes. Because you're telling me to keep quiet. So when I'm in government, don't expect me to talk. So allow me to talk. If you want me to continue talking, if I'm, when I'm in government, allow me to talk now. So that when I'm there, you expect me that I'll talk. If you tell me to keep quiet, it means I'll keep quiet forever I'm in government. you just see me becoming, enjoying myself. My skin is changing and you'll be saying, eh, banana cannot come, but I deliver dear. Allow me to talk. Okay, why are some people quick to conclude the disease entanglement with, um, no, Okay. Nguza, you are the one, Nguza, you are the ones who go for married men. We know you. Just by your comments, we know you. No one was with them to know if they went on a date. What if they just found him? I'm wondering for my feet. From Chilenje. How can you find yourself from Chilenje? You find yourself in, in Kafue. So, there was no other car to pick you from Chilenje to take you to Kafue. You find... <laughs> I'm not supposed to laugh. You people are very funny. 
Okay. Äh. <lacht> Too bad. It is well, mommy, but mommy, all I know is long live sis more grace. Amen. Thank you. Well spoken. Very true. A wonderful voice of a preacher. Francina, I love you. We want to him. Don't sugarcoat things. I'm telling you. It's really something else, but where was her husband? Kaya. <laughs> That's when we'll find out. Okay, people will go to my person that I but whatever it is, it's not a good situation, guys. Okay, so Elena says, after what happened to Valerie with Valerie, one would think of it as a lesson, but to Quena, it's continuous. Uh are saying not at all, you don't do married men. Kind if a man comes to lie to you that he's married, he dates you, darling. Hmm? And then the wife discovers you follow that man in the car. She's praying fire prayer. And then something happens to you. Who are you going to blame? You understand? So allow us to speak to people about situations. The issue of valor. Okay, so but who told you that the car belongs to Renford? Let's exercise wisdom, busy jump to. Nobody said the car is belonging to this man or whatever. We said the woman is the driver. Whether the, the car is for the man or woman. What was the man doing with this woman? They are being exposed. Thank you. They are being exposed. Keep telling us the truth. Those who play deaf ear, let them be. They will come a day when they will want to hear this kind of advice. And Elena says, what is happening? I just woke up. It's a lot of death, another death. It's not nice. Let's live our lives not carelessly. That's what I'm... Oh! Let me even talk about Tina Chilfia. You see, some people you are hypocrites. Big hypocrites. Let me even talk to you right now. Two days ago, you were insulting Tina Chilufia. For You think I don't do these, these things. I see them. For dating uh, her baby daddy's friend. In this situation, they are saying a woman has gone with her best husband's best friend somewhere. The way you went to insult Tina, the way you insulted Triple M. The, I don't even know what you people are looking for. You are two faced. At Chiwa Mirambuzi, Kuluma Galu, Kumambuzi. Those days, the songs. Chiwa Mirambuzi. It's only. Suits you the, the truth only suits you. Let them mourn in peace. Imagine two days ago, Tina Chilufia was castrated for a rumor for an alleged that she was with triple. Yeah, 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 yeah. The whole internet went crazy. In this case, we're saying. What was a married woman doing with a man who is not her husband if she's married? You are now saying we're judging. What about Tina Chirufi? <laughs> this whole talk is a tough. My, my sister, our brother died in Nigeria. Within minutes he died, we were talking. What happened? Blaming this one. Blaming that one. In this case, we are asking ourselves, who was that woman with? How did she find herself there? Whose car? We are asking. <laughs> you understand? And, and you, you listen to the scripture. The God you worship, I don't want to be part of. Condemnation of the Lord. This is what they like. There's no condemnation. Mercy, what are... The question is, what was the woman doing in a car? Okay, it's her car. Where was the husband? Let's not sugarcoat things. No. Let's not sugarcoat things. Regardless of how it sounds, it's not nice. They don't talk about the dead. A public figure, we would talk about them. 
because the man in question that she was with is a celebrity. So if you are a celebrity, you are found in this situation, people will talk whether you like it or not. It's not even me who published the news. It was CIC. Meaning her own family have sent that data. <laughs> you think that some families would just, maybe it's something that the family has been waiting for. Yes, Simbai, a man is saying we are not judging, but they are exposing themselves. Yes, they are exposing themselves. Tina Chulufia. I see what happens on the internet. Hey, Tina, how can you do this? Hey, Triple M. People go to his comment. Triple M, how can you do this and this? Today, a woman is with a man who's not a husband. And they are saying the man is friends with this man. So, we are not supposed to talk because uh, the person has died. Okay, what about Tina Chirufia? If she was in that situation, that something happened with her and Triple M, would you have said that? No. You choose. Okay. Kashishi comedy says, So, takwa woku kwela moto kayaba and in mami. Oh, okay. You live in Chilenje. You are in Kafue. So you were stranded in Chirenja and found yourself in Kafue. Okay. I'm learning. I'm learning a lot from you people. Mm. Abel says, what is done in the dark is seen in the day. This is sad. It's very sad. Me, personally, I had no issues. The guy is a single man. He's not married. The woman is also a, a female. They said unknown. But when they now expose her identity and they're saying she's married, the question is what was a married woman doing with a man? And they're saying this lady is married with two children. And this was published by CIC, which is a credible news, by the way. The page that made uh, 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 PF shake when we used to post news. Uh, they used to post different news there about different things those days. That was the only page that could at least share uh, uh, President Haka Indirichilema's movements apart from his, day, his, his page. People used to stop uh, other media houses from doing that. So they shared that this man, her husband is best friend with this man. Okay. Yes, Miss Baby said, yes, let's not sugarcoat things. The circumstances are embarrassing for two married people. So are the two people married? As Zambians, we have come to accept such as normal. That's why Zambia, we have a high rate of HIV. And we sugarcoat it. As if we don't have. Just because people are on ARVs. If there was no ARVs, I'm telling you, people will be dying like a scholar in Zambia. Somebody saying, is he single? You. If HIV was the one that there was no medication, like in the olden days, I was watching a documentary of an English... A, a white girl in America, she was born with HIV, they didn't know. So her mother died with HIV when she was about five years. Then when she was about seven or nine, that's when they discovered that she had HIV. So when they discovered that she had HIV, they, that time there was no medication. If you see her old pictures, she was pale. They even said she wouldn't live long. And now she's even dating somebody. Unfortunately, well, she's decided to go for a fellow woman, but yeah, she's dating. She's moved on. Uh, precious. That's why when married men come after you, you follow them. Okay. Gaspasi, I'm tongue Um, There was a man who died, a, a gospel musician. The one who died, um, what's his name again? He died. And his pictures of him in the mortuary were all over social media. Why didn't you stop people then? If somebody's a public figure, you talk about them. That's how it is, unfortunately. Okay, so Motambwa says, but this is a sad development. Yes, it is, definitely. Nobody is, is saying it's a good thing. No, we're just saying, women, let's be careful. Oh, thank you for stars, Ming God Mind Closet. Thank you. Uh, 
Okay, the person is now timed out. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, Elena said we must talk about these things. When Princess Diana died in a car crash, it was all over media, TV, radio, to this day. We must discuss. People talked about she was pregnant. She was other. Yes, my brother Jax, we said he's still alive. People were saying he was not. What's your short comment? Um, okay. I support you, Han. My husband's friend has never been my friend. Even asking for a bottle of water, no matter how thirsty I might be, I am even proud of this. I even boast. Me, I came to Zambia for the Wara Women of Prayer Conference. My husband told me, no, ask my friend, he can take you. I said, ah, don't worry, honey. I took a taxi, the man that I work with, that was taking me around. And the man helped me. Understand? It's too much now. Go and stay on your page, my dear. <laughs> when Mobad died, didn't people judge this? And nobody's even judging us. We're just talking, Kuti. Be in the right place so at the right time. Lelo Milo will be talking about this so way, but people in Chan. Is the name Imano Nyorongo as a Yeah Ah Katongo? Thank you. When Imano Nyorongo died, may his soul rest in peace. Eileen. Huh? Where is she? She can come. She wants to get it. Eat. Who? Eileen. Daniel. Okay, I'm coming. Sorry, my beautiful daughter is talking to me. I have very beautiful children, my people. Able woman of God. Ebo. Kualina lift. Oh, lift. Okay. Thank you. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I think the family. Uh, Loreto, when a celebrity is involved, there's nothing like privacy. Sorry, darling. Sorry. There's nothing like privacy. That's why you you be careful who to date. If you want to keep your relationship private, go and date a person who's not a, private, a public figure. If you're a public figure, every social media platform will talk about you. Somebody is asking who is the owner of the vehicle. I'm sure this is not a... Eh, Alice. Let's see. <laughs> Rio, so that you people should break out. She's still a baby. <laughs> really sad turn of events. May her soul rest in peace. Otherwise, it's a lesson to every married, uh, be it man or woman. That's what we've been saying. I gave examples of a man who took two of the ladies that I knew. He was married. And these ladies, they all died in the car crash i talked about the women who cheated on their partner and their children on the husband and end up having a baby for another man and the ending was bad and then david died we talked about it me i even did the video i was crying i couldn't believe that was david was dead and people were saying i was pretending what can i pretend these things are horrible especially for somebody that is a public figure you get close to them and for the news about uh, the footballer it was on the tp mazembe page so normally you share what an authentic page has shared that's it uh vincent you don't understand okay Thank you for the head. I bought so many of them by mistake, guys. And after I finish wearing them, I'm going to send them to Zambia to my fans. Remember Nathan? Yeah, Nathan. Nathan ended up taking his life because he found his wife was cheating. So only you guys, you want to make yourself look like women cannot do these things. They cheat. Uh-uh. Some men are even keeping children who are not their children. And that's why even DNA should be introduced in Zambia. It should be composer. You do DNA. You can find somebody is doing all these things, um, misbehaving, not knowing the children that you've raised up to 20 years are not even your children. 
Okay, so Tabitha said, remember this life, 90% spiritual and 10% physical. Take your life deliberately. Take your life spiritual seriously. It's not a joking matter. In any situation we learn, we've lost a sister. A brother is unwell, but he'll be fine. Nothing will happen to him. But I feel for the husband. I understand. I feel for the husband. Because he has lost his wife. And then, again, some women lie, guys. They lie. That they are going somewhere. But they are not. It's sad. Bethel said we should repent. Um, Veronica, some people are planning today to go with married men. So we are talking today. There will never be a right time for salvation. Unfortunately, salvation, you cannot plan. You cannot plan for it. Every day people are, are, are involved in such and it's not nice. We cannot just be looking at things and saying, ah, it's okay. Ah, it's okay. The other time there was a woman um, who something bad happened. And so many of them actually. So many of them. There's a lady who posted about seven women. When you see people, they are commenting like this. Just know they are baby mamas. <laughs> We know them by their fruits. <laughs> Baby Mama Association. Hey! <laughs> they support anything. They see a woman with a... With, they see Regina Daniels as a sixth wife. They are clapping. Zambians, they are on Regina Daniels' page. They see this lady who took over May Dochi's uh, marriage. They are, they, I see... Kai Zambia, you see by the name. Ngoma, Banda... Sorry, my Ngoma people, my Banda people. It's just an example. Huh? When they, you will see them, they'll be commenting, ha, beautiful, enjoy your marriage. So are you telling me that you, you, you will not tolerate or entertain somebody doing that? Even today, I'm giving an example. If, for example, I won't mention the name, but there's a particular man whom today they divorce the husband, tomorrow they come back. If today you see that man with another woman, you same people, <laughs> you'll be clapping. Let's not sugarcoat things. It's sad, yes, as it may sound. But women should never find themselves in a situation where they lose their life at the expense of trying to have fun. There's a story I know. I'll exaggerate a little bit so that it shouldn't link to that person. There's a lady I know who has four children. She actually has four children for this man and two elsewhere. She was in a relationship with this first guy and the family didn't really like the guy because um, the guy was not a promising husband. After two children, a girl and a boy. Remember, I'm exaggerating figures because I don't want the story to be linked to this person. And this person, yeah, left that relationship because the parents said, leave this relationship. So this lady found herself with another man. The man was with a lady whom he said, oh, she's my baby mama. She's just my baby mama. There's nothing. So the lady said, okay, since she's just a baby mama, me, I'm okay to date you in Zambia. Then stories came out that that lady that he claimed was a baby mama was HIV positive. HIV positive. And the man said, oh, you see, that's why she's not been my, like, I don't really like because the woman is what, what but you, me, I'm okay. We can continue our relationship. Coming to find out that the man was actually in the process. I think he had done the wall and everything. And I remember speaking to this lady. My dear, you are very beautiful. 
you can find yourself a very good man. Be patient. Be in a place of prayer where you call on God and God will answer you. That's how we lost touch. Because you know, the way it is, when women, we like something so much, we cut off ties from those people who tell us the truth. Yeah, we don't want them to stop us from what we love. So, I just saw the communication started dying down. Time, time, baby number one from this man. Time, time, baby number two. Time, time, baby number three. I said, ah, are you people married? Ah, we, tatua upana. Eh, bari, bari, fika. I said, ah, three children. Time, time, baby number four. Four children, wedding in it is, sir. How are you? What are you? As we speak, that man impregnated another girl. And for the sake of the, the case is very sensitive. So that's why I've exaggerated how many children. Because if I said exactly, I don't want the story to be linked. This man last week <laughs> married another woman. After giving you four children, the man has decided to marry. So now, me now, I'm being called now. Auntie Lily, help me. I'm struggling. I said, what's wrong? I have four children now for this man. I said, Iwe, when? The person even cut me off. The moral of the story is this man was already married you went collected him you think he will stay with you he now went and married this one now officially chilangamolilo kitchen party wedding after four children so if we don't talk about these things and if i had been consistently talking i would have been a jealous auntie now what can I do? I'm an nobody to a pocket and away, so thank you. There's nothing we can do. I'm an nobody. My own is Walava Sunga Shani Ava na Navakusha. Four children. <laughs> and there were people who were cheering her on. Navakute Mama Hanti. And that woman was in tears. And I told her, I said, look, this man, this woman is crying. Because the woman even started posting things on Facebook. There are so many things, stories I know. But I protect people's identity because, you know, they are not public figures anyway. So, unless they post the thing. But this woman started posting. Chako tichako. Chako tichako. Tizaka kuwoda. This woman literally said every insult under the sun. <laughs> so now that woman is clapping. In the situation of Valerie Franco, the man left a woman with four children to go for Valerie, who was married before, and she has two children, and then has a child with an alleged child minister. It's alleged, but they look alike. There's a relationship. That woman who's left with four children, what are you going to say about her? Who is going to look after those children? We never see these things. We are just quick to play a victim. Hey, it's not fair. That man who has remained with those two children, who is going to look very handsome children, I'm hurt that a woman can be careless with her life like that. I'm hurt. Two beautiful sons. I have them on my phone. T Tebago says, we should all learn from this. Women, your husband's fiance, your boyfriend is not your friend. 
Let's make prayer daily bread. Otherwise, this is a wake-up call. Satanism is on another level. May we be serious. And stop each reddish with the things of God. Because God sees all things you have. You have you have wisdom. Continue preaching the gospel. The word chiveresh. That's why I like it. Not what chiveresh. That's why that day I told Magnet to say, Somebody is preaching the gospel. You are now uh, trying to compare gambling to gospel. People have become too familiar with God. In a long time, it was a taboo to be found with a man who's not your husband and you are married. A taboo. Last time, <laughs> Zambians, you are very funny. That's why I like you, my people. I love you, my Zambians. You are very funny, Zambians. You are very funny, Zambians. A lady was caught by the husband. <laughs> On the bed with the pastor. Pregnant. Hey! The whole internet. Look at her. She's pregnant with a pastor. Because it was a pastor. Yeah, 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 yeah. That woman couldn't stand the pressure. You. You, the people are saying, do not judge. She couldn't stand the pressure. <laughs> she drank what she needed to drink and she's normal. It's not allowed. Kudia mamuna wamuzako, it's not allowed. Suziwa, ati oku baende kabuino. Mamuna wamuzako nindio. Mamuna, ah ah. Ah ah. Yeah. Today, Magnet has acknowledged that me and Pompey were right. I didn't disrespect that guy in any way. I simply said, Pompey, I am impressed you are using your page. Like a light looks far. I am impressed you are using my, your page to say these things. Ah, my mouth is dry. This brown lipstick. All over. I am impressed you are using your... Yeah, Narito Kwa. Hmm. Narito Kwa. People laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed so guys my beautiful girl is saying her data is finishing but it's a lesson guys yeah that woman that was pregnant and was found with a pastor with a boxer <laughs> recently another woman a married woman was with a prophet what what's his name john I don't even know his name. Ah! People were happy. Cheating doesn't mean you have to find someone in bed. Even just being in the car. There are so many lodges there. And curfew and all those areas. You see. So. May we not live a life like this. That brings shame to our families. Because. Ngabari kufia. It's an embarrassment to the family. That's why I said the last time, say even our celebrities, what they are doing, going out, no matter what, if we are Africans, we should never throw our culture to the side. Me, I'm in the UK here. My children even know, before they leave, I check their clothes. You will not wear dress that is the leg me where in uk here i still maintain my african values so let's not hide okay but again you are making sense this issue of chigololo has become deadly 
It's an issue that needs to be addressed boldly and aggressively. People are different in how they deal with heartbreaks. I'm telling you, my sister, my daughter Gucci, if we are just looking at these things, now there'll be a rise of so has done this to this one. So if we talk, remember what I'm talking after God, after God fear men, the song of the year. Yeah. So goddamn nyamayam zaku. No. It's not possible. Ah, oh, okay. Mama, I love you so much. From your handsome police officer son, Dave Zambia. Oh. Thank you so much, sir. May God promote you to be a lieutenant, lieutenant. Emo fi abam police, eh? Eh, the topest, highest. Where you wear a white uniform? I like that white uniform. Ah, okay. Um, so Kalaba was with a man or woman. Why do you always play a victim when you are a viper? I'm telling you, ah, uh -uh. you are with a woman who is not your wife. Me, the man, I'm not going to talk much about him because him, as far as I know, he's not married. But the woman is married. Okay, so Sydney said what makes it more sad is the rumor that she is married to his friend. Yeah. That's not nice, guys. No matter what. And women also learn this. No matter how much you love your friends, don't bring them to your house. I don't care whether you grew up together. I don't care whether they are what what. Don't bring any women to your house. And men, if your wife is very beautiful, don't bring your friends to the house. Please protect your homes from vouchers, from vipers that want to come and eat from what you have harvested. When we know you harvested on your own, you bath this person, the person is looking good, you bath each other, then somebody just comes and comes and eats for free. You, you went to pay in Salam. Ah, no, I corner. Guys, don't bring male friends kunganda. Friendship at home is for you, the children, Reflect on the week. My wife, how was work? My husband, how was work? Children, homework. These days, homework, they give as if it's a degree. <laughs> homework these days. Ah, me sometimes I tell my children, I say, look, I am tired of schooling. Leave me alone. Thank God for having a son like Donnell, my son. You will help. The homework. Ah! You have homework, a lot of homeworks. Keep yourself busy. There's, Zambia is a nice place. There are parks to go to. Places you can take your children. Have that family time. Then when your friends want boys, boys out. It's normal. You want to refresh your mind, watch some football. That's how Zambian men watch football. Women don't watch football with Zambian men, please. Ha! Zambian men can insult over this football, please. Kushin kafiyama to like, what's going on here? But I'm too poor. They start insulting those big insults of big. Ah. Okay, what if uh, he was given a lift to go and meet Mr. <laughs> Look. We are not supposed to be laughing here. Okay? Please. This is a serious matter, boy. Chris, what's her name again? She lives in Chirenge. What would they be doing in Kafue? Please. Some of these things, let's not. Please, let's not talk too much. I. Okay. Barbara Kathy saying very true. My sister watching you from Finland again. Popen. Oh, it's like Ah there's a chalobari one ya. Ninda lama fi. Hmm? Ukukui no go. People are saying they love ukukui. 
Uko ino kumo bola. You go and watch. Let the men go and watch football. 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, they are home. My poko guadi shashani. You enjoy pray together as a family. It's very important. Pray. Pray for your family. Cover your family. And even as your husband is out, be praying for him. Any weapon, any woman, any God, close his eyes or eh? anyone who's planning anything. Pray. Anoint your husband's car. Anoint his clothes. Okay, you're the one who's preparing. As you are as you are applying lotion. I don't know if some of you um help your husbands to dress up, but or if they're going out. Just take anointing oil, put it in your hands, rub it on your hands, and pray for him. Say, my husband, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. Wherever you're going, you're protected. You pray. That's your duty. Okay. So Mildred says, uh, Lily Mutams, I love your wisdom, Mildred from Mongo. Thank you so much, ma'am. Okay, watching from Chawama. Wow. She obviously wasn't happy and went to find comfort in the wrong place. That's what I'm saying, guys. What is wrong? That's what I said even about Valerie last time. Valerie, if you are not happy, why don't you leave your husband? And go and be a side chick. Then, doing wedding. And this same thing. Men, learn from this. Wedding is not marriage. It's not a must that you should spend so much money. You can even do wedding five years later. Yes. It's not a must. You, I like those young men who go to registry, you register your wedding. After you register your wedding and, you know, everybody knows you are married. Five years later, you do a proper wedding. Woo, somebody from Toronto. Why do I have a feeling? Genius managers are usually in Toronto because I'm coming to Canada. The lady is the one who was driving the Benz. Who is the owner of the Benz? I'm humbled reading my comment. Oh, Mike, <laughs> your comment was powerful. Mariana says, I want to continue watching, but my bundles aren't done. Oh, I love you too. Hey, people are not going. They are now coming more. <laughs> watching from Nampundwe. I've never heard anybody in Nampundwe. Wow, Mwemba. Guys, Tongas love me. Ah! Ah! Tongas. Me and Tongas is five and six. <laughs> I'm Jackson Silungwe, watching from Kalulu. She keep on encouraging us, the youth. I really appreciate you, ma'am. Thank you for so much. My um, judging a fast boy. No, my brother, relax. Wow, all the way from Nampundwe. Shocking. Elias, are you sure in Japan? <laughs> wow, I'm planning to. to no, it's Singapore. How's Japan? Mm -hmm. uh, Lozi people love you. Yes, Lozi and Tonga. Ha! Hezo is in Bristol. Wow. Amazing. Uh, Albert is in KKI International Airport. <laughs> he said he's ready. <laughs> I won't mention what he says he has. I love you, Lily. You're saying the truth. Watching from Lukulu. Wow. Chilombo, watching from Chibombo. Emo, you guys are making me... Ish, we've gone as far. Mwemba mm, says, mm, like you to be a, my good friend. I ah, also advance to be my Tonga friend. Jimmy said, the wisdom is on another level. Teaching is fire. I've been following for two hours now. Eh, we've already passed two hours. Guys, we have to prepare for live stream Midnight with Prophet Malachi. Lucy, watching from Cleveland. In America? Whoa, guys. Watching from Chilenge Loveness. Leah from Olympia. Wow, Ruth from Chipata. H. Cleophas from Mukushi. Sunsha from Lancashire, United Kingdom. Halima from Johannesburg. Milo from Basingstoke. Oh, I used to be there. Messi from Kalumbila. Solwazi. Whoa. Illinois, Valen, Valen, you didn't even host me for Shima when I was in Chicago. Livingston, Kibuela, wow. Miss from Solwezi. Muchinsali, Muchinga, whoa, guys. Kabwe, Kunda from Luansha, Kitwe, Aish. You people are all over, <laughs> from all over. Solwezi, Miss Mulenga. 
Gabron Boswana yee wow Rachel thank you Motinta watching from Lusaka Chingola uh, Delphine Delphine love you to be there always here uh, Vera from Pongwe where is Pongwe Woodlands Dixon wow Robert from Ndola wow the spirit anointed says very educative thank you so much uh by Lily watching from Ndola city the friendly city yes we actually are from Ndola like wow Tawina from Malawi Wilma from Kitwe so she says you're international Amumbwa whoa <laughs> Mazabuka yo guys Kitwe Mpulungu I only know Kapenta from Pulungu I need to travel there Danny Robert from Dollar, Bishop. Oh, thank you, Bishop from Chingola. Catherine Pongo. Wow, guys, so many of you have been watching. I love you, Mama from Lusaka, Geshon. Thank you, thank you so much for joining, guys. At the end of the day, we're not here to judge anyone. Our own is to learn lessons from everything. Jared from Choma. Thank you, Glorious from Kasama. Thank you so much for joining on this live stream. The essence of us meeting is for us to look at situations and to know that God is real. Omnet from Chawama, thank you. We cannot do certain things and just expect that honor will come. Honor comes when you glorify God. Chichi from Sweden, thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, guys. From Muchinga Banda, uh, Luxon says, uh, proud of you. Thank you so much. Mozambique whoa guys thank you so much take care guys I love you love you from Kasama Gloria Sheffield Kasonde oh, amazing supporter for many years there is no B there my namwanga <laughs> boy see you bye my people love you take care may the soul souls of those we've lost this week Rest in peace. Julius from BRC. Ooh, bye.